Hi everyone, in this video I'll be going over apply your learning question number one from the Math Fundamentals unit. Question number one asks, how would 90,000 be written in scientific notation? So scientific notation is a shorthand way of writing numbers that are really big or really small, where we essentially take a number and we multiply it by however many powers of 10 it has. And it is common practice to put the decimal place after the first non-zero digit of that number. So 2.3 times 10 to the sixth is actually a really big number because it has six powers of 10. But how can we take a number in standard notation such as 90,000 and convert it into scientific notation, such as this 2.3 times 10 to the sixth number that we have. Well, here below, I've written a step-by-step -step guide on how to take a number from standard notation to scientific notation. So let's try converting 90,000 into scientific notation. I'll write it here just so that we can see it a little bit clearer. Okay, let's start with step one. Step one says to locate the decimal point. In this case, our decimal point is not really obvious. It's not written out for us already, but we can assume that it's at the very end of the number since 90,000 and 90,000.0 are equivalent in value. The second step says to move our decimal point to the right of the first non-zero digit. So similar to our 2.3, we want to move our decimal point after the first digit that is not zero. So in 90,000, that number would be nine. So we want to move our decimal point to right after the 9. The next step says to count the powers of 10, and this will become our exponent. To count the powers of 10, we just want to count how many places over we moved, since each place represents another power of 10. So we moved 1, 2, 3, 4 powers of 10 over to our new location. So far, that gives us 9.0 times 10 to the fourth. But how do we decide if this, if this exponent is going to be a positive exponent or a negative exponent? Well, next we look at number four, step number four. If we move our decimal point over to the left, then we can use a positive exponent. If we moved it over to the right, we use a negative exponent. So in our case, since we moved our decimal point over to the left, we'll stick with our positive exponent of 4 to give us 9 times 10 to the 4th. And that's equivalent to 90,000. So just as a side note, remember that this moving left and moving right exponent rule only applies when we're going from standard to scientific. You can see that if we start from scientific notation and we say, oh, well, that's a positive exponent, we need to move our decimal point to the left, we actually get an entirely different number. Since we're going in the opposite direction this time, we need to basically flip the rule. So if we wanted to start from our 9 times 10 to the 4th, then we say, oh, okay, I'm going from scientific notation to standard notation, so I need to move the decimal to the right instead. And you can see that that gives us our original 90,000.